Do not know what to do during the pandemic? How about hiking in Camino de Santiago in the north of Spain with your dog? Welcome back to Camnob Travel Channel. I miss hiking, do you? Here, I am sharing 6 tips for walking the Camino with a dog. Number 6. Be physically prepared. Even the smallest routes along the Camino can stretch upwards of 100 miles and for many people, you will need to build up your fitness levels before your trip. This may include increasing your step count every day or even joining a gym so you can be sure that you will be able to keep up with the daily pace that you'll need to complete each step along the way. However, don't forget about your dog's fitness as well. It's easy to assume that your dog will be fine, after all, most dogs love the outdoors and are happy to be out exercising for hours. And your dog might be happy to walk 10 plus miles a day. But if they're not used to such distances, your dog will soon tire of the daily trek. Make sure you increase your dog's exercise in the weeks or even months leading up to the trip. They need it just as much as you. Number 5. Food and water. Unlike humans who are generally happy to eat whenever, you must not adjust your dog's eating schedule. For example, if your dog normally eats twice a day, stick to the times you would normally use. You should increase the amount of food you give them because they will be using a lot of energy. Upping their main regular meals is far better for their routine and digestion than increasing the number of times you feed them. You can give them little snacks during the day as you would at home but remember to wait at least half an hour between a big meal and exercise. You should make sure you have enough food for your dog on your person, and you can have your remaining dog food supplies carried between each hotel or hostel alongside your luggage, or you can buy food along the way at the local shops and supermarkets. Of course, your dog also needs regular hydration, while there are lots of fountains and streams that your dog can safely drink from, these are not always regular enough for you'll need to have several liters in you to supply you both. Number 4. Other Essentials. The weather in the north of Spain is a little less predictable and stable. Meaning there will be days of brilliant sunshine with the chance of a storm in the middle. You can even set out for the day without a cloud in the sky and be soaking wet come the afternoon. Of course, it's still Spain so the weather will mostly be great, especially if you go in the summer months, but it's a good idea to pack a few items for your four-legged friend for all weathers. No matter what time of year you go, it's advisable to take a coat or jumper for your dog. Also, buy a bottle of dog-friendly sun cream for their nose and other important spots. Finally, it's a great idea to get some shoes for your dog if they don't already have them. Dog shoes can protect your dog's paw pads against the hot floor, the stones and gravel, and even any slippery surfaces if it's been raining. However, not every dog will be happy to wear shoes, so if you decide against them, Make sure that you are regularly moisturizing your dog's paw pads so they don't crack or tear easily from the high levels of exercise. Number 3. Rest, rest, rest. Most owners would describe their dogs as couch potatoes. Your dog may enjoy zoomies in your back garden or local park, but they're also happy to snooze on the couch all day. Dogs need an average of 12 to 14 hours of sleep a day which will increase during such a physically exertive trip like walking the Camino de Santiago, so keep an eye on the time and stop for regular breaks. Your dog will in the very least need to lay down for 20 minutes or so every few hours and ensure that they are getting a lot of uninterrupted sleep during the night. Your dog will need far more sleep than you so don't let anything get in the way of their beauty sleep. Number 2. Use a lead when necessary. If you're walking the Camino during the summer, you'll find that there may be days when you're still out walking when it's getting dark, just because it's so much cooler and bearable. If you do find yourself walking late at night or when the sun is going down then keep your dog on the lead. A dog running off in pursuit of a rabbit is stressful enough in the day let alone at night when you have no idea where they've gone. Even if you are sure your dog won't run off, the risk of your buddy getting lost in the dark is not worth it. Additionally, if your dog is a dog that isn't afraid of running up to strangers and jumping all over them then you should keep them on a lead in busier areas. Unfortunately, not everyone will love your dog as much as you do and you don't want to be upsetting any travelers along the way. Number 1. Book in advance. Some people throw caution to the wind and just turn up to a hostel or hotel on the day. This is fine for people not following a particular schedule or for those who are happy to walk to the next one if there are no rooms available. However, if you're with your dog, this is a terrible plan. 
Since only a select number of private hostels accommodate dogs as well, you'll have to have your rooms booked in advance and a suitable walking schedule so you're not left out in the dark. If this happens, you'll end up wasting a lot of money on transport to find the closest private hostel that will take you for the night. That is it for now, folks. Thank you for checking Camnob Travel Channel. We hope these 6 tips help you plan well for your hiking trip with your dog in Camino de Santiago, Spain. If you would like more video like this, remember to hit subscribe button and hit that bell button, so that you will not miss any of the video we publish in Camnob Travel Channel. I'll see you in another video shortly.